I made over $150k selling this design on my Etsy shop. I want to tell you what happened, how I started, how much dollars I made and how you can do it too. I deep dive into my technique, try to figure out the structures, what happened, how I made this and can I really replicate this again because I wanted to make more bestsellers more than just only this bouquet and then I tried this structure and it worked so let's get started I made over 150k dollars just with this design it happened in this last two years this is the total amount of sales it is just from my Etsy shop. I'm not counting my website too. How I started making this bouquet. I received a custom order and my bride was asking for a dry floral design version of this fresh floral design. And it was a very big challenge because it was looking very fresh and it had all these levels like the fluffy look and I thought like I can't make this with dried flowers like it is looking so fresh how can I do it and she refused to have any kind of artificial flowers and then I thought we can do that let's think about it so it just started like that with a fresh floral Pinterest bouquet photo from her inspiration board so I think one of the best things about this design is it is not edgy like it is something casual that everyone can like really so let's get into my approach how I made the design since my approach was growing my Etsy shop I thought about like every custom piece how can I list it in the future too so it wasn't a one-time project I was always thinking I am fulfilling this custom order design and also creating future product listings so in this business schedule because I was getting so many custom orders too I wasn't able to work on portfolio like listings a lot so this way I was multitasking I was thinking I should be able to recreate this design easily again and the other thing is I made this as a round and fluffy piece with wildflower looks so it fitted my customer's mood board and also it was going to fit my future customer personas too this way I was really using my real customers thoughts on this design thinking about who else can like this design and approaching to this design like this the flower ingredients i used they had to be easy to find because if you think about it if there is something seasonal and if you list this product and something that you can't find anymore according to the season it can really ruin the whole design because now you won't be able to sell it all the time you will take it off in winter time and list it only summers but having an online floral design business is like meaning you have to have something that's evergreen like you can list it every time and it is always like available for sale it is very important so I selected my ingredients accordingly I choose that the things I can find every time and of course there were times that some of the ingredients I couldn't find and then we started growing them but this is another subject <laughs> growing your own flowers and drying them for your business so now I will just focus to making this best-selling piece and how you can do it too so i finished the design as you can see it ended up looking very wild the colorful center part and i wrapped the outer circle with greenery like preserved eucalyptus types and it looked very very full and big and at these times, these couple of years ago, there wasn't these kind of designs on the market too much. And 
even if you find them, they are very, very pricey. And that man's on Etsy, I can list it more affordable and make it easy to buy by most of the customers. So that was a very big opportunity, first of all. And this is just COVID times or just after COVID times. So people are starting to have weddings and then they are looking for white flowers. It just started trending these times too. So all these things are connected, I guess. But after making this design and like years later, my sales are going um, higher and higher so that means it wasn't just a trend thing i know that now but at the, like these days i was thinking is this just a trend thing like is this just my luck will it be over will i continue selling this design and i just continued selling it like it's it is still happening, we are still making it. Let's see how much we made. Um, this last year we made 85k dollars only from my Etsy and I'm not counting my online website. And in these three years we made 150k dollars and these are worldwide sales, not just UK. As you know, we are right now located in the UK, selling worldwide on Etsy and also on my online websites. Okay, let's see the product page. I want to show you how it is looking, even after years. The thumbnail picture is the same. We are using this very close-up frame picture. That means it's not far away, the picture, the design is very close, so we just see the design rather than the props in this first picture. And then um, the second picture is me holding the design in my hand to show how big it is. This is a large size. And then um, the little items are floral hair comb, matching boutonniere, the hair pin set, half crown, some more extra pictures showing the matching accessories that people can also buy with their bouquets. Let's see the price. We increased price 10% in these two years I guess because of this um, inflation and everything but right now our small bouquet is 34 pounds, medium bouquet is 53 pounds, large bouquet 70 pounds and extra large is 85 pounds. I will link everything down below for you too, so you can get an idea how we are pricing these. As you go down, you're seeing all the reviews, which is adding so much trust for the customer. When they see these, they will be thinking like, okay, this is a legit business. I can trust this design and everything because people are already happy with this design. So as you receive more reviews, probably this will happen to you too. They will trust you more and start buying your designs more and more. Okay, so let's talk about how you can do it too. These are my opinions, like what happened and how this happened. I made some structures and used it on my other designs to create bestseller pieces too. I will tell you which one is the most critical at the end. Evergreen designs, affordable pricing for Etsy shoppers, quality design with quality floral ingredients, variety options, quick delivery options, photography and aesthetics, Good customer service. Let's start with evergreen design. What is an evergreen design? That means it can stay trendy for long periods of time. So this design is still selling since three years because of this. The other reason is the design is kind of casual and liked by most of the customer person that I have. The team is not edgy, it is not extra, it is not screaming like with some kind of team. Like it's not extra hot pink. Not everybody can select a very hot pink bouquet, but if you think about it in this design, the colors are well balanced and we have greenery. It is very casual. Um, the other aspect of this design is 
it is kind of nostalgic like it feels like 80s and 90s a little bit the round wild bouquet look so i think customers also like this nostalgic color theme is well balanced and it lasts for years this was a very very big part of it's been a bestseller because the customers like they can use the design after the wedding too which means they can have this sentimental value for the design because think about it having your piece still looking fresh after the wedding or an event it is perfect to be specific, I'm not telling this is the like 100% rule for a design because there can be a design that is more modern and you can just make it for a new team that you discovered and it can also become a bestseller because maybe this is a trending team this year, this month or something. So, so many things can happen. So many things going on in the design world, am I right? So, I'm just talking about this best-selling design and telling you how you can approach your designs. Now, affordable pricing for Etsy shoppers. Pricing notes I can give you is like the title says, just make it affordable because I made a research and like 90% of Etsy shoppers are coming for affordable prices. Medium value of a basket is around $130. We understood that we are making our design affordable and easy to recreate and how I gave a quote for this custom order. It was a lot higher than this price we see in the list thing because I was taking so much time to come up with this design, ordering everything, trials, like working with a customer. A custom order process is always different than a listed product, taking so much more effort. So here you can think like you are simplifying this design as you work on it, creating structures like I was thinking how I can make it again etc. So it will be easier to create this design and the time you spent on this design and the value of it is kind of related. If you are spending more time, it should be more expensive. And if you are spending less time, that creates some kind of door for affordable pricing. It gives you advantage to, so you can put this design with a less price. But I must say the design is pretty complicated. So it is not some kind of design that you can price very very cheap it is not cheap it is just affordable like in the middle the other subject is quality design with quality federal ingredients my thoughts on this would be whatever you create use the best floral ingredients best dried flowers you can find and try to keep this quality as same as possible be sure to make your floral designs matching to the listing photos because the customers see the photo and when they receive it they just want to see the similar design as possible okay variety options what is variety options marketing people are doing this since like decades because at the mall they also put these low price items close to checkout and you buy them without thinking so much because they are quite affordable and cheap and you just think like this looks nice i can buy it and it wouldn't change much in the like later so having some low price floral designs in your listings like drop down menu it would be amazing because what kind of floral designs you are making i don't know but whatever you do make some kind of small version of it to list there to upsell your design. It can be something like a trial kit too, like maybe put a couple of ingredients as a little bunch and say this is the color palette, like you can buy this one to try and then you can buy this bigger thing later. This will really encourage people to try your pieces, especially if you're a beginner. This will break the thoughts on the customer, like they have no stars, no sales, 
um, look at these prices. What if it is like uh, something that's not that good in like in the picture and this way they are scared to pay this high price but if you give them a little price little thing they can try it and see oh okay this is a legit business I can trust them and now I really want to see how this big design will look so here is what I'm doing for my best-selling pieces I add size options matching small pieces to bring overall checkout value higher so for this bouquet for example I added four size options small medium large and extra large and I added little floral accessories like boutonnieres crowns child crown options and also half crowns this made the customer think to add like something else to try and if their budget didn't allow to buy a bridal bouquet for example they were able to try some flower crowns and hair pins and maybe they wanted to buy the bouquets but also they wanted to give something for the guests too so they like to buy boutonnieres for the guests and they like to buy little crowns for the flower girls and I even saw they're buying these crowns for little pets in the weddings too so that's so cute I like to hear them see these so much you can see them in my listings on Etsy there's so many pictures of them I love them so much okay next best thing you can do is quick delivery options we know that Amazon's success is coming from this next day delivery and when you enter Etsy and see most of the plural design sellers the estimated delivery takes so much time and it is kind of vibe killer like if you're a bride and wanting, wanting to like try it as soon as possible you're a bit afraid to buy it if it's saying like one and two months later you will receive I would say keep your delivery times as low as possible we are doing it seven work days and then we are shipping it and we are adding so many shipping options like there are worldwide express delivery or the next day there is also one more option that my customers use a lot is the express making thing so what happens is since we are very busy if they pay for extra we get their order and make it earlier than seven days like we make it in one two days and my team is working very hard on this very 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 busy weekdays but it is worth it and do you know what happens sometimes customers my customers are mostly wedding customers so that's why I will give you an example that sometimes their event planner or their florist somehow fails to create the order and then at the last minute they find you and they ask for a replacement like can you do this for me but well, it is in two days or in one week so you just want to do something but your schedule is busy too that's when you can give them that like extra fee amount like offer the fee and then you can say we can ship it with this very express shipping option I mean they will need to pay higher for these but you are giving solutions and the most important thing you can do is this most of the people are not tired but they are not willing to do the job so you'll be stepping in and giving these solutions you will be winning <laughs> really. so that's amazing you got the quick delivery options too then what's next the next is photography and aesthetics <laughs> when it comes to photography my hobby was photography like before starting this business I worked on my portfolio never got any jobs or <laughs> business with my photography before I, it was just hobby but I love aesthetics of it so much like nature photography yes portrait photography yes I liked it and I was into vegan cooking so I was also trying to learn this set design it all worked for my floral design business because it all came together I am posing for my designs 
I choose my stuff and then now I'm like a model and also the photographer and then I edit my photos too so <laughs> it is so funny I mean being an entrepreneur is amazing I love this so much I worked on the photography part so much without getting any pay so <laughs> this is a bit ironic but finally I made it I started getting paid for my own photography in my own business so now it is all proven and I can tell you what I have learned I tried moody photography it worked yes but I can say most of the people are preferring bright and clear pictures so don't go for the moody pictures if it's a floral design especially if it's a wedding photography moody photos are not good for bridal bouquets because they are also mostly on the dark side you use more gradients like the grade, color grades and everything and it is making the design lose its color when the design is looking different than the photo then you are having problems because not everyone can understand that it was a moody flower photo so sometimes they just expect it to look same as the photo so this is not a photography business just add a couple of edited pictures these too much moody edited pictures into the listings if you like just cut one two of them maybe the brides or wedding photos or whatever is your floral design subject is i think keeping it on the clean bright side is a lot better i also tried the minimalist theme and it was very beautiful until i got bored because i really don't like this very white or empty scene i like to have a couple of props there so i just didn't want it for my team act actually like there is no problems for the best selling point of <laughs> mentioning this this is just not my team i guess so minimalist also works bright and warm tinted like warm photos it also works so if we summarize this if the edits are not too much and the photo is looking similar to the actual real life design then there is no problem continue like that don't alter the colors like the saturation for example because if you are working with dry flowers you will notice some flowers are not that bright not that saturated so what you can do is not do the saturation play okay because this will happen the customers will start saying this wasn't colorful as the picture this wasn't bright as the picture like or like all my flowers are dead they came very subtle like very pale because you altered the colors of the photo so don't do that keep your photo colors as casual and like close to real life as possible just play with the expert your sharpness maybe try to get rid of dark points if there is something very black for example i'm so excited telling you all about this and i should say i can't wait to see what you will do too oh my god okay so this is how i shoot my designs and my tips what camera i use i use canon mark 4 and also i use my iphone which is iphone 14 pro max as you know the casual iphone photography is also trending as product photography so don't hesitate to use your phone too my lenses are 50 millimeter and the 35 millimeter set design i keep it simple wide and natural and also i like to use some sandy beige tones in the set too lighting daylight is what i love especially morning sun and evening sun is my favorite but i am living in uk right now and it can be very cloudy and dark in the winter time that's why i started using strobe lights in the studio which is artificial light and i like it because it's kind of 
makes it look like sunny in the studio so I am using it right now what are my favorite props I like candles books magazine types fabrics so many vases walls and um, it is kind of sickness I know but I also love baskets so much what is my shooting structure and my angles I like to shoot like the design from the very front the top and also with a 35 degree angle like looking from top to the table and the design etc you will see my examples now on the screen i am using this s curve and zigzags as i place my product and props to the table so here you are seeing how it works the last thing I noticed that was affecting the best-selling designs is customer service. It is kind of the same point for everything in the shop. This is something not for design probably, but I will talk about it anyways, because after selling so many pieces, I reached over 45,000 sales on Etsy now so I understand the importance of customer service so much if you're a starter you can think like if you were the customer what you would do when you think about it this way you will start to understand how you should be acting for them how you can help them the first thing comes to mind is are you answering your messages quickly this is very important. I know it is not easy because not all the customer messages are positive. Some of them are negative, but if you answer them positively and help them for their goal, solve their problems, it will be benefiting your business more than ever. It is also good for Etsy algorithm too, so try to answer your messages as quickly as possible. After a couple of years, I noticed that it was very difficult for me to do the customer service too. So what I did is I get help from a VA to help me with my Etsy messages. So as it happens, I'm only focused into creating new collections, making designs and making orders because the other things are also taking so much time. You can get help from your family or your friends to help you with the messages in the beginning. It will be making you to focus to the other parts more. So as I said, now I will tell you what was my favorite part about all these structure elements. My favorite part is an evergreen design. So some kind of trending designs can spike the sales for a small period of time, but an evergreen design keeps selling even though the years pass and the trends change. So this is amazing. Try to create these kind of designs and try to create designs that you can find their ingredients again and again. So don't pick something that's in the market you can't find anymore. The other thing is, I think you know, the pricing is important. It is important for Etsy, so try to price your piece affordable. And the third thing, I was going to say only one favorite thing, but okay, I will say the third thing too. The third thing is, photography because it is kind of shops products picture like if it was a walk-in shop and the customer came and like seeing the products in the shop think about it how would be the experience like they are going through these pictures it is online but the experience if you look at it that way and create your pictures accordingly it will be working for you <sighs> Wow, I can't believe this was the last one. I hope you like my structure and I hope this inspired you. I left the best thing for the last also. I created an Etsy course so you will be able to learn all the things about creating an Etsy business and running it and making bestseller designs. My Etsy business course will be live very soon and I will update the link below where you can start your 
best selling designs. Okay, that was all from me today. So see you in the next episode.